you know, the next time our illustrious agent tells us we're going up for a park, he should tell us at the same time so we only use one car. He's got a point. Grandpa, we have to get off this mountain before the volcano blows. Don't worry, little lady. Me and old Buck will ride up that mountain and I'll lasso the- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where, where does it say that? And who the hell's Buck? My horse. Buck's my horse. How'd your horse get in this? I'm Spike Mulligan. I started in over 40 westerns. Hey, maybe you've seen some of them. Drum to the Comanches. Comanche Moon. 77 Comanches. Comanche Bride. Comanche's a go-go. It's a thing I did in the 60s with Frankie Avalon. Kind of silly. The Comanches are a proud people. Uh, please stop now. Grandpa, we have to get off this mountain before that volcano blows. Me? I was wondering, uh, uh, maybe we could add a little comedy to this thing. I, I, I do this character who doesn't have any calves, you know. These people are fleeing murderous lava. And they should, yeah. Uh, well, uh, I, was, I was wondering, um, maybe we could have this thing set in the Alps, you know. That way the accent makes a little more sense, you know. Yeah, it's a movie about a volcano. Uh-huh. Don't you worry, by golly, uh, I get you off of this mountain by Yemenis, by Junkers, by Gambo. Uh, <coughs> what's this? Grandpa, we have to get off this mountain before that volcano blows. Don't worry, Peggy. I'd never let anything happen to you. There's not much in this world you can be sure of. Except my love. Uh, you do realize Peggy's your granddaughter. Adopted. What are you doing? Updating my demo reel. I just spliced in a Mannix I'm really proud of. Uh-huh, yeah. Is that the one where uh, Mannix got in trouble with the Comanches? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. JJ, what's with you? I can't believe I didn't get the part. You didn't go all romantic again, did you? You do know that Peggy was your granddaughter? That's it. I'm through playing grandpas. I'd kill to play grandpa. As a matter of fact, I'm up for a murderous grandpa next week. You know, I am tired of people telling us who we can play and who we can't play. We're the new generation. We're hot. You know, we're on fire. Think of Tony Bennett. Mm -hmm. Silver is the new black or the new orange. I, I can't remember what color it is, but I think it's time we took the bull by the horns. I'm up for that. So you agree? Well, then why don't we give them some of the projects that we've developed? Yeah. Projects? <laughs> I thought we were talking about a bull. You remember the one that we developed, uh, Time Travels of the Gypsies? Hey, what was that one called again? Time Travel of the Gypsies. Oh. Yeah, I still have my bandana. I also like the one where we were three fishermen in the Bermuda Triangle. Weird Tales of the Sea. I still have my peg leg. And I really like the one where we, we got on the road and we just drove. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I still have my license. Still think we should do a cop show. That's what I feel. I mean, when you think about the three of us, we've done Dragnet, Adam-12, I played an MP on MASH, and Spike. You're death scene in Gunsmoke. I mean, you made Festus cry, man. You were yeah, good. And he never cried. Not even the time he got kicked in the nuts by his own mule. Well, how do we start? We see young Fabrizi. He's our agent. And if he thinks we're crazy, we see old Fabrizio. So, my son said you're crazy, huh? Several <laughs> times. Apparently, the network has a million cop shows. He said he had an in with National Geo. Reality is what's hot. Yeah, National Geographic, that's all we see nowadays. Squirrels humping. Mm -hmm. I love that show. Ah, oh, well, trust me, reality sometimes is ugly. Mm. Speaking of which, Marty, how you doing? Poor bastard, that's reality. Three XYs and emphysema. I thought they wiped that out. That was polio. Oh. oh, sorry I can't help you, boys. This is my reality. That's why we come to see you. Because we love you. I'm infirm, not deaf. So what now, you give up? Not me. Now, I take it up a notch. That's what I love about you, J.J. You never give up. You know, if you hadn't stopped every female producer, casting director... Cocktail waitress, meet her maid. Don't forget my third wife. 
could never forget her. Who knows where you'd be? You make a million enemies that way. Yeah, but I have a lot of memories, too. It's a miracle you never got stuck with a kid. Or a shot. I always played it safe. Whether I was in love or drunk or both. <laughs> you know, 30 years ago, everyone I knew was dying to have lunch with me. Now everyone I know is just dying. Speaking yeah. of lunch. Yeah, reality stinks. <laughs> Come on. You're kidding me, right? I mean, these guys are still alive. I think there's a hit show here. Wheelchair Wars? Nostalgia, it's what's hot. Look, these guys were hot like 50 years ago. We could argue entertainment value all day long, or I could point out the fact that I'm the hottest VP at this network with a proven track record of finding hit shows. You, on the other hand, have not had a hit since Slamdance 2002. So why don't you take this job and move out of your parents' garage? Here's some more headshots for the reality show Over the Hills. More? What's with the dog? Uh, had to bring him. There's still a lot of nervous peeing. Well, of course, he's a puppy. I meant for me. I have separation issues. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? No, 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 no! Are you nervous? No pee pee! 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 What happened, Murray, huh? We were big ones. We had dreams. Look at us now. I can't afford lunch, and I can't afford to fill your fucking tank full of water. Ring. Holy crap. Hello, Fabrizio Talent, home to the stars. This is Elvira. Can I help you with this? Is this regarding representation, or is it regarding debt collection? This is Jeannie Spencer from RPA. Is Michael Babrizi available? Uh I'm sorry, Jenny Spencer from RPA? I understand you represent J.J. Jones, L.B. Morton, and Spike Mulligan? Yeah, yes, yes I do. Very talented gentleman. I'm checking on their availability. Oh, well, um, all three of them have a pin in them right now. But you know what, let me, what I'll do, uh, give me just half a tick, I'll check their availability. Hold on one sec. Holy crap, Murray! This is it! This is the big one! We're in! <laughs> um... What sort of project would they be in? So, uh, tell me something personal about yourself. Personal? Russell Sprouts, give me gas. <laughs> I, I hear you're from Chicago. How does a man from Chicago become a cowboy? I lived on the old west side. Uh, I see a wedding ring. Are you married? I was. Forty years to the same sweet, wonderful girl. She passed. Oh, uh, so she was sick? No, she, uh, she got run over by a cow. Now I remember yelling, move, Bessie! And tragically, both my wife and the cow had the same name. Alvy Morton here, and uh, I've done over 400 commercials and PSAs. My first one was uh, don't drink the paint. Uh, <clears throat> you see a, a, a long time ago they didn't have any warning labels on the paint cans so I, I did the don't drink the paint. I, I lost my big toe in 77. I was doing a Jarts commercial and uh, Jarts, yeah. It, it was a lot like um, it was a kid's toy only deadlier. I also uh, blew out my back teeth with uh, with an exploding uh, gum. Teeth, teeth, and uh, I, I had to sit on a because uh, <clears throat> the teeth uh, swallowed them. I had to sit on the toilet with a little tea strainer for about uh, three days. Yeah, finally, finally found my tooth. Yeah, <laughs> painful. That's what you call uh, biting yourself in the ass. Everything okay? Oh, uh, yeah. 
Would you mind getting me a cup of coffee? Sure. Black, one sugar. One sugar. Oh, thanks. Do I know you? Do you? Yeah. I'd like to know you. I'm, uh, I'm J.J. Jones. Janie Spencer. Janie Spencer. We're ready for J.J. Thanks, Gavin. This is my show. I'm from the network. Is this what the execs look like now? Boy, things have sure changed since the Warners owned this town. Women, we're the new black. Wish me luck. Good luck. I hope we get to know each other. Hope so, too. So tell me about yourself, JJ. Do you have any hobbies? No. Do you? Well, I mean, you were known as a legendary ladies' man. Uh, how about that? Well, you know, I had the uh, opportunity of working with some fabulous women. Uh, Angie Dickinson, Tina Louise, Julie Newmar. Yeah, who's that? Julie Newmar, Catwoman. Oh, oh, you dated Halle Berry? Or was it Anne Hathaway? Who? Did you ever lose your heart to any of these women? I'm a professional and a gentleman. And, uh, come to think of it, uh, how often do you have to do something to call it a hobby? Uh, 